she's got more than she can stomach. He has a beer belly. So, she had a flat belly blind date? This man has six pads. What like this? That look like breakfast, lunch, and dinner that you Hey, but she ate it off the whole plate, player. After they match middles, and his blind date throws up a curve. She had a low-cut shirt, and I saw her chest. I was like, ooh. She had, like, the Dolly Parton thing going on. Will she trade a beer belly for a six-pack? What about a gut bucket? She ate it off the whole plate, player. On Change of Heart. What? Chris Jagger, welcome to Change of Heart. This is a show where couples who've reached a crossroads in their relationship voluntarily go on one blind date with someone new. So let's meet our couple. Six months ago, he was dating her cousin. But after one, yes, one sexy glance from her, he was hooked. They had their first date at SeaWorld, and they've been swimming along in the sea of love ever since. Please welcome Brian Small and Lori Gonzalez. <laughs> You're on the show today because your relationship has hit a bit of a troubled watered spot. Uh, Brian, would you say that Lori's true blue? Yeah, she's true blue. Uh, before I met her, I was dating this girl, and uh, she played me for my cheese, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And then when I was on my low point in life, Lori came along, and she's been rolling with me ever since, so, you know, I'm cool Well, with that's that. good, then. Yeah. Lori, nice start. And, Lori, how does your family feel about Brian? Um... I'm really a daddy's girl, and my dad really loves Brian, and he's never liked anybody who I've ever dated before, so that's really important. And that's pretty important. Good. Hi, <laughs> right, Brian, sounds like you guys are pretty tight. Now, if you could give Lori one piece of advice, what would it be? To comb her hair every day. Oh! Well, it looks like it's... comb my hair every day. You don't what comb your about? hair. You don't comb your You're hair. You're fighting the real. That, just because my hair is natural and I have no perms and weaves does not mean that I don't comb my hair. That looks pretty smooth. Nah, you cheating yourself. I'm cool. She don't comb her hair. She combed her hair today because she's going to be on TV. No, my hair is naturally people. curly. I have naturally curly hair just because I can get All out right, the Lori, shower. Equal, equal time, Lori. Tip. Lori, what advice do you have for Brian? Well, Brian needs to wear socks in bed. He has the most, <laughs> what? the nastiest foot fungus. It's like thick right here. Oh. All in between his toes. Oh. And he rubs toenails and he oh, likes man, to rub cool. them on my legs. I got foot fungus? Yes, the worst. It, it smells so bad. You didn't say that in the beginning? And then he, he like, Wait, wait, grabs wait, wait, his wait, toes wait. and itches in between them when he gets home from work. He may need Technical more than five. socks. Wait a minute. Technical foul. First of all, when we first got in this relationship, you know, she's a cosmetologist, so, you know, she was giving me pedicures every week, manicures, you know what I'm saying, lacing me, and then all of a sudden, one day she do it, she got on gloves. <laughs> well, Yeah, I didn't want that to spread to under my fingernails. I was trying to have a fucking All right, Brian, right, let's talk about some other things. What about communication skills? How's Lori in that department? She's the wine master. All she does is, a, if she's not whining, she's complaining. But you get PMS. But you get PMS. If she's not complaining. whining, she's complaining. All right. <laughs> All right. Lori, after you've been dating Brian for a little while, what was one of the things that were the most surprising that you learned? Um, well, Brian is really a little bit overly in touch with his feminine side. He <laughs> likes to use my bath and body works things, my foot lotions and foot scrubs, my little scrubby buddy. I can't, know? I can't He's smell not into everything I'm like that this. I do. Check it out, though. Hold on. I'm like this. She keeps some of her things in my house, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If I run out of some lotion, I'm going to the bath and body section. Why cheat myself? You know what I'm no, saying? No, but what about the scrubby cool. buddies in the foot? The scrubby he, buddies. He doesn't like for me to look better than he does. He has to have a manicure and a pedicure, and if I look nice, he has to get all super dressed up. I'm a 10, you're eight and a half. I mean, what? I'm an eight and a half? I'm an right, eight Brian. and a half, you're a 10. Brian, what about Lori's attitude about when it, money when it comes to that? She got champagne taste and Kool-Aid money. I'm trying yeah. to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I We'll go to the mall. She'll see some. She, we go out to eat. She want to order the most expensive thing on the menu. You know what I'm saying? If she see a salad and it's $30, she want the salad, but the ribs could be 11 You know what I'm That's saying? That's not true. Let me ask you about Brian. You said he's in touch with his feminine side. What's one of his guy characteristics, though? That you make him a real well, guy. Well, I really like into cuddling. I like for him to be intimate with me and cuddle with me and pay me attention. <laughs> he likes to play PlayStation. Let me he out. He won't spend I'm any cool. quality time with me unless I play John Madden football with him. And I always beat him. <laughs> I always beat him. So I never get my way. And then wow. when I beat him, he throws a temper tantrum. Uh, tell me why you wanted to check out some of the other fish in the sea. Well, she needs to learn how to treat how, how to treat a man. I need a real woman, you know what I'm saying? A real woman? A woman who's gonna, who's gonna treat me, you know what I'm saying? I don't treat you? We go out to eat. Oh, I don't scrub your little fungusy feet. Cover the bill. <laughs> cover the bill. I'm like, we go out, why don't you cover the bill? Give me $3 on in and out Burger. I mean, come on. Something, right? Oh, but man. why does he have to get two triples? Why does he have to get two? He has a beer belly. Oh. He has a beer belly. 
Coronas and beer bills. I mean, what? Okay. All right, you know what? Hang on on that note. Wow, you shouldn't be sticking that thing out like that, bro. Man, this is, man, this is bold. Uh, it seems that Brian and Laurie definitely have some rough waters to neg- uh, navigate here. Now, when we come back, we're going to meet the people that they dated, and we'll find out if these two are going to end up staying together or having a change of heart. So stay with us. We are here with Brian and Lori. Now, Brian says Lori's a whiny gold digger who begs for his money. A gold digger? Begs for his money, but begs off when it comes to combing her hair. Uh, So, we set him up with a beauty conscious babe who has her own credit card, and the only wine she knows comes in a bottle. Please welcome Shanice Clark. Hi, Shanice. You know Brian? Lori, since you were questioning Brian's femininity, and uh, do you think the Shanice is the kind that could bring out the manliness in him? I don't think any woman could do that. <laughs> Such a hater. Uh-huh. All right, uh, Brian, when you were talking to Shanice on the phone, getting ready for the date, was she talking about making any kind of special preparations? Yeah, actually, when I talked to her, she was uh, telling me that she was doing her hair. She was going to get her... She was doing her hair at home, but she was going to get her hair done the next day. So I was like, you know, that really meant a lot to me because, you know, Lori never combs her hair, you know what I'm saying? I said, Shanice, you guys finally met, and how smoothly did things start off? Mm, it was a little rocky. I actually was two hours late to my date. Something came up. A friend of mine came down from out of town. There was a death in the family, so I had to go see him. I called him and let him know. He gave me a little grief for it. Wouldn't let me forget about it the whole night. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Now, yeah. w- when she finally got there, were things uh, <clears throat> worth the wait? You know, was it okay? When I got there, uh, she came to the door, and she kind of looked like Lauren Hill, right? And you know, she had she had her hair done. I was like, okay. She looked bond in. You know, she had a low-cut shirt, and I saw her chest. I was like, ooh, man. Oh, really? You like her chest? <laughs> I'm saying she had like the Dolly Parton thing going on, so I was like, you know, I'm rolling, I'm rolling. I was rolling with that. All right, Shanice, Shanice, did you feel sparks, you know, flying right off the bat? Definitely. He was decked out, decked out, outfit just to the T, matching just ridiculous. I mean, it was off the hook. Oh, really? What did he have on? What did you have on, Brian? Why? What did you have? Well, she's kind of curious. I'm sure you've seen it. All right, Shanice, where did you guys go for the day? I probably bought it. Hey, well, don't show. I'm not mad at that. She bought something right on my time. There you go. All right, Shanice. Shanice, let's talk about the date. Where did you guys start off? We started off by going to the mall. He knew that I loved the shop. We went out to the mall in Orange County and just oh, had a ridiculous Oh, you took it in my neighborhood? Time. Yeah, South Coast uh-huh. Plaza. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Brian, I thought you had a problem with Lori going to the mall. Well, you're taking... see... I, you know, when I go on a date, I, I want to I wanna see how a woman. I want to see how a woman acts in the mall. You know, what I'm saying if they gonna cheat themselves. You know, what I'm saying or they, you know, never that. Are they gonna have a hand out like a little Somalian like Lori does? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, Shanice, we know you have an appetite for shopping. You were at the mall. Did you work up an appetite for anything else? Oh, we were starving by the time we were finished shopping. We had already hadn't eaten because I was late. We we're supposed mm-hmm. to go out to lunch early, but mm-hmm. we went to a restaurant in. Um, Irvine, and it was kind of weird going way out there. I, I wonder how he found the spot, but I guess that's where she stays. So we went out to her city. So he's familiar with that area. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, it was la- it was yeah. lovely. It was yeah, lovely. we had a good dinner. It was I'm glad you had. So, well, Brian, yeah. what was the best part about dinner? The best part about dinner. Okay, when we got through eating and everything, the waitress came over, and she paid for. It. I didn't even have to look at the check. Shanice took that's care of it. Covered. Not covered. a problem. Not a problem. She covered it. I make my own money. This one right here, it's not happening. Never. She's, she's oh, no. whistling in the air. It's That's not exactly. happening. All right, now, Brian, That's Shanice exactly. was late at the beginning of the date. Was that a recurring theme as you guys hung out? No, actually, uh, we were kind of late. We had plans to go to a, a basketball game after because uh, when I talked to her on the phone, she said she liked the Chicago Bulls. So I got us a couple of tickets what? to the Bulls what? game, right? <laughs> so uh, as time went on after dinner, it was getting kind of late. It was 7 o'clock. I looked on my watch. It was 7. The game started at 6, so we had to be, you know, we had to hurry up. So we flew down to L.A. I got there. When we got to the game, she was, like, really quiet. And I didn't understand because she had been so energetic during mm-hmm. dinner. You know, she was on me. Yeah, was Shanice, what was the problem? Here you are at a, a sporting event. What well, was the problem? His cousin plays for the Clippers, so the whole family was there. And I walked oh, in. I met his family and everything. And it was a little awkward. Oh, you know, okay. his cousins are like, who's the new girl? Is that your new girlfriend? Uncle's like, who's the skirt? Uh-huh. You know? <laughs> I'm just like, oh. So, so that's I a little intimidating. Yeah, All right, well, bit. Brian, how about after the game? Did she perk up afterwards? Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh. So anyway, <laughs> after, 
after after the game, we were supposed to go to the club, you know, get our groove on, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we ended up going back to my house. Mm -hmm. So we was just there, we was parlaying, you know what I'm saying? And uh, actually, we ended up on the floor lying down next to each other. Right? Hey, Shanice, can I ask what you were doing on the floor? Sure. Um, a little bit of everything, actually. It was... No. <laughs> no, it was just a lot of chemistry going on. We were very attracted to each other. We were interlocked the whole time. Either his leg was all around me or his arms were all around me. And eventually... Oh, really? Oh, you were giving her free affection with no John Madden? Oh, yeah, we played a little Madden. Oh, okay. We played a little, a little Madden. Uh -huh. But, you know, when she beat me, I, I kept on, I kept on, you know what I'm saying? I kept on doing my thing. I didn't mind. Yeah. You know? All right, Brian, one more thing. Was Shanice whining about anything the whole time you were out? Well, actually, um, she was whining just a little bit because when the date ended, it was about her, uh, the sun was up, let's put it that way. Um, it was about five in the morning, so, you know what I'm saying? She didn't want to leave, you know what I'm saying? So she whined a little bit. I walked her downstairs, gave her a nice long... Oof, man, just a hug. That was a game. And, no, we just, we just left it from there, so it was, it was real nice. It was good, it was good whining, though, yeah, as far you as you're nice concerned. Time. All right, was well, a woman who paid and played enough to give Brian a change of heart? We're going to find that out later. Next, though, we're going to meet the man that Lori dated, and we'll hear all about that, so stay with us. what happened on Brian's date with Shanice, and now we're going to meet the man that Lori dated. Lori says that when Brian isn't playing with her nail polish or hand lotion, he's playing <laughs> video games for romance. And if he loses, he withholds. If he wins, she's turned off by his smelly feet. So, yes, we fixed her up with a dancer who doesn't need to wear odor eaters and only wants to be a player in the game of love. Please welcome Kenny Bigby. Yeah! Good to see you, man. Whoa. Brian, uh, does Kenny look like the kind of guy that needs to wear socks to bed? Man, he look like a hammer reject. Uh. <laughs> what about a gut bucket? <laughs> man, let me, uh, out, dude. let me ask Lori, uh, from talking to Kenny on the phone, did this sound like this was going to be a typical date or not? No, actually, it sounded like it was going to be really different. You know, um, he told me that the title of our date was going to be The Lover's Game, so I was really excited, but a little nervous. The Lover's Game, that's kind of intriguing. What kind of love game? Yeah. Kenny, that was... Uh... I'm going to let you know, play. Kenny, that, that's a romantic title for somebody that you never met. Well, what was the yeah. sort of thought behind that? Well, what happened was when I talked to her on the phone, I was kind of vibing off of her. I thought she was a nice young lady. And I just wanted to, you know, give her something that she likes, some romance that she may not have had in her life, you know, something that she needed. <laughs> okay, so Lori, tell us how the games began. Um, well, actually, the limo arrived a little late. Lim whoa, whoa, limo? Yeah. There you go. About five minutes late, which was kind of a bad impression on my mom and my auntie that were there. You know, they were kind of looking at that kind of down. But when it did arrive... Um, so y'all went to win or form? <laughs> How was the limo ride? Well, actually, everything that she liked and that she desired, I had. I had the seafood. You I didn't have candles. me, player? Oh, no, bro. <laughs> That's what she desired. That's what she just. She want me. I had. She like this. <laughs> that looked like breakfast, lunch, and dinner that she Hey, carried. but she eat it off the whole plate, player. Brother. <laughs> yeah. That brother, he got Denny's coming along. You ain't got to go out to eat. You just got to right. serve it. You got can't, can't wait, let, can, let Kenny explain what he had uh, planned for Lori. What would you have planned? Come on. What I have planned? Yeah, what was the setup? All right. So basically, I had the seafood. I had, uh, what else? I had candles. I had poems, poetry. But, you know, the limo was off. The timing was off. I had everything set <laughs> Man, up. You spent your life plan. in a day, huh? All right, but what about okay. Lori? <laughs> Lori, when you... It, it, after all of this, you finally got to meet Kenny. Were you happy? Oh, I was really happy. I felt a little weird because once I did meet him, I wasn't sure if that was actually him. But when I saw him, he was gorgeous. I was hoping that Gorgeous? Yeah. <laughs> so... All right, so women were gorgeous. So you finally met him. You were happy. You found out it was him. Now, compare Kenny's physique with Brian's if you had to compare oh, the two. Oh, Kenny. Oh, my gosh. Kenny had the nicest body. His chest. He had on kind of like a see-through shirt. You could just see uh, his six-pack. You could see his six-pack. <laughs> Legs. 
he has his dancer uh, size. He can I just say, first of all, we're not doing Chippendale auditions here. Please. Did they see me? And Kenny, did you do something else to help loosen Laurie up here at this point? Yes. Yes. I'm a leg man. Uh-huh. And uh, I got the conversation started after we ate the seafood and shrimp, and I started to massage her feet to make her feel relaxed. Whoa, whoa. In the conversation. He touched those? I paid for these soaps. Right here. Uh, now, Laurie. Laura, he was nice massaging massage. your feet. Did you get a chance to check his out since oh, you had such a problem with Brian's? Corn free, fungus free. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about, what about the rest of his game book? Any more romantic plays in there? Oh, I mentioned to Kenny when we spoke on the phone that I was a Sunday school teacher and that I was really into God. And he recited a lot of scripture for me, and I thought that was really sexy. Ooh. With yeah. that dress on, though? And Kenny, when you were doing these quotations, What's wrong did you? With my dress? Did, when you were doing these quotations, me. hold up, uh, Kenny. When you were doing these quotations, did you notice <laughs> that she was Your responding? Your outfit isn't clowning. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, actually, to tell you the truth, it was a great response. We were cuddling, we were getting close. Cuddling, cuddling. Yeah, yeah, free Kissing, cuddling. Red light, hugging. Candles. Because I was reading from the Song of Solomon, and it's a very romantic book speaking on the things of love. You know, God takes care of the mind, body, and soul. Gotcha. Not just the physical. Now, Lori, things turned around here and started going pretty good. He wasn't going to make you play video games at this no, point, was he? No, not at all. Everything was free. All the love was free. Oh, I'm free loving. Okay. Hey, Kenny, if you had a so I, gotta, I gotta buy it. <laughs> Kenny, hey, on my you gotta salary. Work for it or something, bro. Kenny, who, who would you out. say won the lovers game? Huh, well, I put it this way. It was about a 50-50. Everybody wins in the lover's game, you know. I stayed up with her to the wee hours of the morning, conversating, hugging, kissing. We'll I said we both had the victory. We'll find out in 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, you know what, Brian? It'll actually be less than that because will Brian and Lori have a change of heart is the last question, and during the break, they're going to make that decision. What it is, we'll find it next, so stay with us. <laughs> moment of truth because during the break Brian and Lori each made a final decision about the future of their relationship and there's no turning back now will they stay together or have they had a change of heart now Brian you came on the show because you thought that Lori needed to learn how to treat you better and that was one of the things that you wanted to find yeah. out but you did want to go out on a date right. and uh, go out with somebody who was going to pay for the dinner or pay for themselves and for the two of you somebody that wasn't whining and complaining a lot uh, and somebody that was going to take care of their hair because you said Lori had a problem there so there you were with Shanice yeah, she was a little late, but things got uh, started off okay once you saw her, because she looked a little like Lauren Hill, you said, and she had a nice physique about her. Uh, she did pick up the tab for dinner. She took care of the check and stuff. Yeah. You played some video games, and you were hanging out till like 5 in the morning and stuff. Yeah. You do have some history with Laurie. What do you say, though? Stay together or change of heart? Well, it's like this. Oh. Shanice, Shanice, she's a straight dime. Dime, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She had the body... The personality, the hair, she had it going on. Right. Mm -hmm. She treated me, she paid for it, you know what I'm saying? It was covered, the day was wonderful. Lori, on the other hand, she's been there for me through thick and thin. Aww. And uh, basically, I came to leave Platinum for gold, so I'm yes. gonna stay together. Yes. Stay together. All right, Shanice, sorry things didn't work out for you. Right. Lori, we're gonna get your decision now. You said you wanted to date somebody that didn't have fungus feet, that was one thing. <laughs> Somebody that wasn't obsessing over their video game machine all the time and somebody who didn't have that effeminate side that you didn't like. So we set you out with Kenny. You guys had a good date. He played that big lover's game with you. He had the limo come to your house to pick you up. You had a nice big romantic dinner. He was rubbing on your feet, giving you a nice foot massage, uh, reciting scripture that you found that you liked. Uh, you guys also stayed together late into the uh, night into the morning. Uh, but before we get Lori's decision, Brian, you, 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 you were pretty confident that she was going to stay with you. You still feel that confident? Player. Yeah. <laughs> Player. All right. Brian says he has no doubt. Lori, what do you say? Um, I Playing say... yourself, homie. <laughs> oh! um, although, um, I really, I, I'm really uncomfortable with Brian's fungusy feet and his whole PlayStation thing. I'm kind of cool on that. And um, I had a really nice time with Kenny. He's a really great person. Um, he showed me a really nice time, showed me exactly how a woman's supposed to be treated. But um, I think that I am a real woman, and I think I do a great job taking care of Brian, so I think I want to stay together. Yeah. Oh, stay together. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, hopefully by the two of you coming on the show, you learned a little bit about how to treat one another, and you'll do a better job in the future. That is our show for today. Thanks to Shanice and Kenny, and good luck to Lori and Brian. We'll see you next time right here on Change of Heart.